Dave Clark works for the Cincinnati Inquirer and uh, kind enough to join us after these articles. Man, things uh, must be a slow day in Cincinnati if I'm the headline maker there, Dave. Well, you know, this is, this is great for me. I, I love exaggeration. The more exaggeration, the better the story is going to do. <laughs> um, but, I, yeah, I mean, do you find when, you know, when you're hearing the words come out of your mouth, like the Bengals defense is terrible, and I don't know if Zach Taylor is a head coach. I mean, does, does any part of you think you're going a little bit too far? Do you think the Bengals defense is great? No, no, but I don't know about terrible. Okay. And I Yeah. Okay. I Do you are you sold on on uh, Zach Taylor's your head coach? Do you know what you have there? No, I don't think. Okay, don't that's think all so. I said. I don't know and I don't think the defense is any good. Makes sense. So that's all. So why I don't right. know why you brought up those two things because I that, those aren't controversial. That, that that's sort of based in fact. You don't know what you have with your head coach, and your defense isn't very good. Isn't any good. But yeah, I I don't know if he's a head coach, and the defense is terrible. I mean, it just seems a little bit harsh, and it's the kind. Of, but it's the kind of thing that I live for, you know. But Dave, my... Dave, I'm not invested in the Bengals. You're you're a local. You write for the Cincinnati Inquirer. I'm I I grew up there. I'm not invested in the Bengals. My job is to assess the Bengals the way I would the San Francisco 49ers. I said I don't know if they they know what they have with Jimmy Garoppolo yet. Is that harsh? Yeah. Kyle Shanahan can he make the right calls when he needs to? I mean that's all. I got a I got a weird vibe from Joe Burrow. That's all. It would just felt non-committal. I hope right. he goes to the Bengals, Dave. I hope yeah. that, that they, he has great success and they get a chance to play in a Super Bowl again and win. And Cincinnati could certainly use a star player. I just got a weird vibe there. And then I wondered right. if he really wanted to go there. And then if you said, as I just talked to Todd McShay, hey, who's a Cincinnati guy, hey, Todd, would you rather go to the Bengals or the Dolphins if you're Joe Burrow? And he said the Dolphins. So we're on the outside looking in. You're on the inside, and that's where it's different. My opinion is just my assessment of this situation. It could be Jacksonville. It could be Carolina. It's just because I'm from Cincinnati, people think, why are you saying mean things about the Bengals? I, I'm just saying what I think. It's my opinion. That's all. There's no, it's, it's not based in hatred or you know anything. I get it, but I write about really anything anyone says about Cincinnati sports. Our teams, anyone who grew up here but plays professionally elsewhere, that sort of thing. So hearing the remarks you made are kind of right in my wheelhouse. And, you know, any the more exaggeration, the better. You know, <laughs> um, when you say guys who probably passed Sean McVay in an airport and therefore you get a job. That's a joke. I mean, well, I know, but I hear that and I'm like, oh, this, I'm transcribing this. This is going to do well. <laughs> well, you could put in parentheses meant as humor because that's what it was. How many? T- everybody joked about anybody who knew Sean McVay. You somehow got a job. And I think I think most people t- completely understand that that's a joke. But you know, you're always going to get people who read that and get fired up if they're you know. I hope they continue to. Sp- I, I hope all these Bengal fans go out and support the Bengals this year. I hope it's packed. I hope so, too. Yeah, well, I hope it's, it's packed there. Can I go back for Thanksgiving? That's what I want to know. Do I, have to go, <laughs> do I have to go to Cuyahoga Falls instead of Mason, Ohio? I, the funny thing is, I saw you once at the B-dubs in Mason, yeah. and it was, at, it was at Thanksgiving. Yeah, I was with probably my two brothers, and we were, we were having beers. Well, I've been there a couple of times, but that's my tradition. I go to uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. And yep. uh, I try to ignore everybody else in the family. And I just go with <laughs> two of my brothers to have beers there and talk badly about everybody in our family. It's a tradition unlike any other, Dave. <laughs> and uh, I, I wasn't going to bug you, but I said to my friend, oh, look, there's Dan Patrick. He's from here, you know. He went to high school about five <laughs> minutes from here. <laughs> uh, what's the article going to be like tomorrow? Um, about this conversation yeah yeah is there is, is this is this going to be in the cincinnati Inquirer or on the website 
I don't think so. Okay. That might that might seem a little self serving on my part. <laughs> hey, join join the club. It feels like I'm being self serving here with the Bengal. I'm being served up, I think, by Bengal fans. And that's another thing. I don't want anybody to think this is about Bengal fans. This is about the Bengals themselves. And how many of these people who have responded went to the Super Bowl in Detroit when they lost, went to the Super Bowl in Miami when they lost, has been around this team from the start of it. I I saw Bruce Coslett play. I saw Sam Weish play. I went to Nippert Stadium. I saw Paul Robinson play. So it's not that I'm foreign to this topic. I'm a little traumatized by all of this with the Bengals. That's all. People should feel sorry for me. Like, oh, my God, look what happened to Dan Patrick. He used to be a respected journalist. Oh, my God. Yes, that's what happened, Dave. <laughs> well, I don't I don't I feel like I should apologize. Here. <laughs> <laughs> it's you could do that in in, uh, in column form just to say, okay. you know what? That poor guy is traumatized. He went through the icky shuffle. Be, you know, with the highs and the, he, I covered Collinsworth as a rookie, Dave. Oh. I've been around this, this, I wore tiger stripes, Bengal stripes. I did all of this. Come on. Uh, it's bringing up bad memories, Dave. <laughs> That's all. Uh, can, well, we, can we write the headline for Dave tomorrow? If he does choose to write a column, uh, Paulie, do you have one? Talking hairdo backtracks <laughs> on Bengal bashing. It flows perfectly. <laughs> okay, if you want to do that one. Patrick, welcome back to Ohio for Thanksgiving. Question mark? Yes, Todd. Borrow the hatchet. Things are okay now. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. Did you read into any of that that Joe Burrow had to say, Dave, when he was on with me? Um, yeah, I don't. I, I mean, does it even matter? No, I'm just curious. They're going to they're if, they're they're take him. It, you know, what I figure is they're going to take him. I know, but did you read anything like, into it? That's all. That, that's all I was uh, saying. I hope they take him. It felt noncommittal. That's all. Yeah. Felt noncommittal. That's it. Yeah, I could see that. Uh, next time I come in to uh, Mason and you see me, Dave, come on up and I'll buy you a beer, okay? The wings are on me. Thanks, Dan. And uh, thanks for it. thanks for being a good sport. And uh, I'll let you know if I get around to bashing the uh, Bengals again. Thanks for having me on the show. All I right. appreciate it. That's Dave Clark, Cincinnati Inquirer. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune into Audience Channel 239 on Directv. Stream for free on BR Live or download the Dan Patrick Show app.